CTV News at 6 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thanks for being here. We begin this hour with a made in BC medical breakthrough that promises to save women's lives. Researchers at the BC Cancer Agency are closing in on developing a vaccine that targets ovarian cancer that someday might be a cure. Ovarian cancer kills more than 1,700 Canadian women every year. There's no screening process, often too late by the time it's diagnosed. But there is hope, and island women being treated for cancer are helping to make it happen. CTV's Aaron Glazier has the story. So this tumor you can see in brown, the killer T cells, right in there doing battle against the cancer cells. Ovarian cancer is the fifth deadliest cancer in women and it killed Dr. Brad Nelson's mother-in-law in the early 90s. She passed away a couple of years after she was diagnosed. She was a very typical patient, yes. Mm -hmm. It is a cause close to his heart. Today, he is the team leader of a group of researchers awarded a grant by Genome British Columbia to find a cure for the deadly disease. We know that cancers are caused by mutations in the genome. And, uh, and through these genomics approaches, we can find those mutations. And the vaccine we're developing is going to educate the patient's immune system to recognize those mutations and destroy the cancer cells that express them. To facilitate Dr. Nelson's work, nearly 100 ovarian cancer patients in the Victoria area are donating tumor specimens and blood samples on a regular basis, a way to help others while helping themselves. Patients are, you know, are um, often appreciative of the opportunity to help others and to participate in research and to um, potentially, you know, help find a cure. If all goes well, the group hopes to start clinical trials of the vaccine in three to five years. Until then, Dr. Nelson is calling on all women to be vigilant. Be aware of your health and when you notice uh, something that's unusual for you, uh, definitely bring it up with your family physician. If you have any of these symptoms for more than three weeks, bloating, change in weight loss or gain, nausea, indigestion, pelvic discomfort, frequent urination or fatigue. The average age of women diagnosed with ovarian cancer is 61 years of age. However, the most scary statistic, more than 80% of those will die within five years if the cancer has spread beyond the ovary. I could believe that. It scares me, yeah. I've, I've heard that it's very deadly. A trend the BC Cancer Agency is trying desperately to reverse. It is also working closely with hospitals in Seattle and California to develop blood and imaging tests to catch ovarian cancer before it kills, while finding hope for a cure in this lab right here on Vancouver Island. Aaron Glazier joins us now. Aaron, we've seen the, uh, the grim statistics for women who have been diagnosed in the, the latter stages of ovarian cancer, but what about uh, those women who are able to catch it early? Hudson ovarian cancer has a 90% cure rate if caught in the early stages. And again, it is key for women to step up and recognize the symptoms while being mindful if it runs in your family, you have a higher genetic risk. It cannot be screened through a regular physical or a pap exam. The most effective ways aside from noticing the symptoms is a regular transvaginal ultrasound or a blood test to measure the chemical level of CA-125, which is a tumor marker. This is an exciting breakthrough, though. Mm -hmm, very exciting. Aaron, thank you. You're welcome.